Welcome to everyone to the 2023 Grand Prix 3D Finals. Um, coming live from you from Calgary, Alberta. And uh, this is the first time we'll be doing our shoot off. So we're down one camera today, but we got four. But it's Jamie Brew and Dean Thornton here. Um, we're doing the live commentary. Say hello, Dean. Hey, guys. How are we all doing? We're back indoors. Last indoor tournament of the season. Canadian Nationals. And here we have... I think they combined all the like string classes. All the string they? classes. All so string it'll be anyone shooting traditional or barebow. Yes. We'll be shooting off in the shoot-off. Um, we only have three cameras. These ladies will be shooting... Um, seven different targets throughout and they'll take one person on one person on. Right. but I think there's only those are yeah there's there's eight people in here so on um, the traditional woman so they'll be um, shooting off here um, they're approaching the line so there'll be two the Grand Prix is a little bit different so you you shoot in two two different groups yeah and, and they shoot two different targets and they go down from eight um, down to six down to that's, four, that's correct. And, then, and then that four, and, and, then and then they'll shoot down to the final one. So. Right, right. Um, it's been a great, great three days oh, here. Three, actually, this 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 tournament put on by the Calgary Archers has been phenomenal. This the venue that we're at at the Seven Chiefs Sportplex in Calgary has been incredible. Incredible. So these ladies, I'm not quite sure what they'll be shooting here, um, but we'll try to get yeah, we'll as many views as we can. Of the turkey out there. We got some other ones out there. These ladies are from Saskatchewan, I believe. Would you believe that that Saskatchewan colors? Yeah. Oh, that was the caribou there. Caribou. From a shirt for a shot. That's a that's a, a five, I think. Oh, yeah, that's there's another eagle. five there on the bunny rabbit. So now we wait for our next option. We don't really have any of the, the targets here. So right now we're uh, just dealing with cameras. So we'll just show the archers here. They're the ones doing all the uh, work. Anyways. Madison Minx here is shooting yeah. the caribou. Yeah. And she hit the caribou, but then just just a little yeah, tall. A little bit high. Yeah. Yeah. Now stepping up the line is Canada's own. Well, we're all Canadian. All Canadian yeah. But Miranda. Uh, Miranda Sparks. She's represented Canada the last three. World Championships, I believe. Three? I think she's been to three. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Miranda is out of uh, British Columbia. Oh, nice shot there on the, uh, on the rabbit. I think that's a, that's an eight line for sure. That's just a little tall there. Oh yeah, no, it's a little tall. It's just in the insert. Uh, five as well. This is something we only really get to yeah. do once a year. Yeah. Um, shooting this Grand Prix shoot off. Yeah. Amanda here. I just met her last week, actually, at Provincials. Shouldn't bear bow. She has one of those Gelo bear bow bows. They're, uh, oh, yeah, those, those are yeah. Ma added. made for bear bow. Yeah, they're out yeah. of the states, but they're a very good bear oh, bow. That's right, yeah. Bear yeah. bow target. She made a very um, good shot. She just shot, oh, she just shot, shot a beautiful lamb. Right. Okay. That one that's way out there. Move out and put on those three targets, too. Right. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Are we on mute right now? Oh, we're we are not. Going. We're still live. Oh, still live. I'm, good job. I was just going to start singing, but there we go. Yeah, yeah. But we had a couple of people from Archery Canada out. Zoe came out this year. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually it's been a phenomenal tournament. Yeah, I think we uh, 
what, do you know what the total was? Was it like two sixty five? I think they cut it off at two sixty this year, but that's yeah, no, it was good. Coming out of the pandemic, for sure, yeah, yeah no. coming out of the pandemic, yeah, yeah, um, no, definitely. It's definitely. uh, it's, 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 it's been yeah. a good thing. So we we have lots of people here up yeah. in the stands. Yeah, um, a lot of new people this year. Yeah, our a lot head of people I've, I haven't seen before, which is kind of neat. So yeah, yeah. our head judge, no. Renee. Yeah, yeah, um, Mr. Uh, I do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Between yeah, judging yeah. and hosting yeah. world events, he's hosted um, World 3D, and now he's going to be hosting World Field. Yeah, up yeah. at Lac La Biche. No, it's it's been it's That's been gonna great. Be incredible. That's going to be incredible. So we kind of moved one of these cameras, so we'll be able to see a little bit of you. But um, this one, just to give everyone a hint, and the archers don't even know this yet. That target right there is going to be our final one for the last two archers to actually be oh, shooting at so perfect. the go old turkey there perfect that'll be the final one for four yeah and Thanks. i'd like to say and i'd like to say thank you to some of the sponsors uh the government of canada um also the sport partner for the canadian olympic committee uh canadian archery online and verona real estate group um, they help out our Japan a lot, so it's a uh, it's, it's so a great thing having more and more sponsors. So thank yes. you to them, Data so we can do what our Data Corp as well, um, Vortex Canada, as well. Um, so no, uh, yeah, Data Corp, Fun Services Inc. Thank you very much. And there's our president. Of Archery Canada, there, Aaron. He's running and the shoot offs. There, I think they're just picking the target to shoot yeah. here for the next round. And we're missing Carl. Carl's probably out in Ottawa. There, he's probably got the smoker going on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. He, he likes smoking meat. Jolene will be first shooting from Group B. It'll be Ilsa. Ilsa, she's from. Uh, and her husband's been to yes. Worlds as well. Yes. yes. I, I get to shoot with them uh, 3D and grassy lake yes. there indoors. Yes. I tell you, they're phenomenal longbow shooters. They are. They are. There's Renee checking. We'll just go to the third camera here. Maybe we can catch a little bit of the arrows hitting here this time. Um, in this class, if anyone doesn't know, the max yardage for these. Yeah, trash yards. 30 yards as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful shot there. Oh, I have a lady miss there, but that was from uh, Elsa there, there but on the wheel, Elsa. Just outside the 10 there. Yeah. Solid 8 there. Yes, yes. Solid 8. Now we have uh, Miranda Sparks up again. Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Minx. Yes, I can't see her first name anywhere on there. Madison. Madison Minx, that's correct. Madison Minx. That's Sorry, Madison folks, we don't know all the recurves and the stick and the string. There was a great number of them this week. Well, there, was, there, was, yeah. there was a lot. Oh. Oh. And Miranda, she had a solid eight there as well. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's going to be a. Yes. On the meal there. Gone through and Miranda. Yeah, so I think I. Yes. They're, they're good solid aids, but. Yeah. We'll see. Amanda, I think she's got yeah. it. I think she's got a little bit closer yeah. than Miranda, so yeah. we'll see what yeah. happens there. Yes. Oh, a little bit high. Yeah. So Miranda's going to still oh, be. Yes, very nice shot. Very nice from shot. Miranda. There. Amanda's actually the only one to have hit that target so far. Yeah. So. No shots there testing the lengths of the traditional bows. You see a couple of the archers there went under or over the animal. So yeah, it's a 30 yard max here. Um, I know Miranda. And they, and, they know, and they shoot this class unknown. I know. It's all yes. unknown yardage, yeah, so the ladies, when they step up, have to guess how far the target is. Hence, that's why I think a couple of them missed that that uh, that, that white tail there. It's quite quite a quite a poke for them. I know Amanda. She's uh, she's going to be coming out to some of our Alberta ASA tour this summer as oh, well. Right. So she'll oh, be, perfect. be perfect. doing that. 
that's uh, something we do out here in Alberta that's taken off quite good. Yeah, so if you guys well. have a chance, come to Alberta and we got five stops. And uh, yeah. we got some really cool belt buckles. You belt won buckles, one of those yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, no, I was, I was yeah. fortunate enough to win last year and I'm uh, hopefully defend my title again. There you go. Hopefully defend my title. This is there. So we're left with Ilsa. First, by Miranda, Miranda and Amanda. So we have two archers from Alberta and, and one from the BC. BC. Yeah. We got the palm after. Let's just see if I can see that one a little bit. Oh, we're Elsa, gonna have a great view Elsa here. Van, how do you pronounce her surname? Van Westerhausen. Westerhausen. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard it so many times. Van der Westerhausen. Van der Westerhausen. Yeah. Yeah. Her husband's a oh, doctor. Monty. Monty is a he's, doctor. Doctor. Is he a doctor? I yeah, know he's a doctor. doctor. Yeah. I know he's an amazing yeah. uh, archer. She's drawing back here. here. And we're just going to keep it on that target because we've got a pretty good oh. shot. Oh, yes. she's just over. Went over the top. I just think she might have just top. put it yeah. into our vortex shot here. Yeah. yeah. Now we have uh, Miranda Sparks out of BC. So I Ilsa will be before. third because she had yes. a miss. Yes, well, you have there could be another phone. miss. There could be another miss here as there well. There could be another miss, but I know these next two girls are pretty good archers. So yeah. Miranda's special, just pulling back here, uh, Amanda taking aim. Sparks here. Yeah, she's got a solid five there. there. Yeah. yeah. And then Amanda Vavrick. I, I think she's out of the crack. Uh, she, she's... Crack out of Edmonton. Out of there. Edmonton. Out yeah. of Edmonton. Yeah. And she has that Gilo bow. Oh, and yeah. She's, she's got a solid five, yeah, so Elsa will be in third. And this will be our final target, everyone. It'll be this turkey here. And uh, <laughs> here we've got the two Amandas in the final. The two Amandas right. in the final. Miranda and Amanda. And I'm really hoping they don't hit my camera. Um, ah, no. It's no. right out there. Actually, we... We, uh, we did create some boxes you, for now, outdoors. <laughs> now, that you've, uh, now that you've said that, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah Miranda's no. just taking a look at the target here. Yeah. So this, for, to decide the Grand Prix winner, will be closest to the X-Ring. The X-Ring. And she's pulling back. Four draw. And we got the turkey. And that's Just a high a five on the turkey. High five. Left and right was perfect. Yes. Yeah, left and right was great. We have Amanda Varick. Varick. And we're going to go back to that target. Oh, and beautiful shot. Beautiful yeah. shot. Excellent shot there. Amanda Vabrick will be taking first place. And uh, we got Miranda Sparks will be in second place. Yeah. Our judges will go and take a look. Congratulations, ladies. That was a great shoot. And we'll have Anne go in there. So we'll, Anne will be pulling the arrows and we'll be moving on next. So we're just going to take a quick time out. And uh, we'll be back to you as soon as back possible.
And we're back, and we're going to be going to the male traditional. Um, traditional men, we got Jovica Dujic, Raymond Huang, James Frigal, Jason Doherty, uh, Monty Vander Westerhausen, uh, Fred, Fred Shreeloff. Shreeloff, Timothy uh, Waitson, and Dwayne Kohut. So now we'll just go to our targets oh, there. Shot, I shot yeah. a rabbit. Um, we just that shot, shot a ten and rabbit there. Solid eleven. Uh, got a five. A leg there on the one. Uh, there's Monty here. Oh, you know Monty is a lefty. Yeah, he's a lefty and, and uh, Monty oh, is a lefty. Monty there. They're just getting ready to pull back. Monty's a very good shooter. Yeah. I've seen him win so many tournaments over the years. Yeah. Real solid shot there, nice eight. I'll see, we've got a Regina Wascana. Yeah, Archer. Archer here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful shot too, yeah, that's a nice solid eight. eight. Up next here is Jason Dorsey. He's here he's from, from Calgary. He's from Calgary. He's from Calgary. So I spoke to Jason earlier. He won his category today by over 100 points. Nice. Yeah. And also his dad. Yes. Um, his dad. Yes. His dad also shoots as well. So they have a nice, uh, I'll just keep it on the arches here because we don't have any targets right now that we can see. Um, we'll just watch them, but his dad shoots as well. So they, they got yes, a good competitive. Yeah, they're always having a great competition, yeah. those two. Those two. Yeah, for sure. I haven't seen them as much because, you know, with the Calgary Arch no, Center shutting yeah, down and yeah, stuff but here. Now we have the new archery world location yeah. opening up. Uh, Northeast side of Calgary here in, in, in about a month or so. I think there's two now in Calgary, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jamos and you guys. Yeah. A solid nice five. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. They're really making it. They're, they're making it beautiful tough. Beautiful group there in that rabbit. And target yeah. number five. They're in that bunny. There's a solid 11 in there. Yeah, the there's two 10s. Here. But I think Monty's going to be the odd one out there. He's a little bit further to the right. Yeah. He's going to be the one there. But yeah. yeah. That's okay. His wife brought home some hardware, so he doesn't have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one will be tough. There's... Couple low ones, but there's a little bit lower one in the leg. And we got Barry Adams out there helping us out today. He'll be pulling. And Travis will be out here as well. But sorry, guys, we're trying to get as much video and talking as we can, but uh, with this form of shoot off and having the eight targets, it's a little bit tougher to cover all the action. I know in the summertime we have five, so we'll be uh, doing that. So you are going to be shooting that through A, the white tail buck, oh. through B, the mule deer. Yeah, they're okay. The ball yeah, going? Uh, They're just making sure that we got the right targets. Hopefully we can see one this time. They'll probably be the mule deer and the fallow deer. I said earlier, we got one camera down, but this summer I actually had a camera that we can rotate, zoom in, and everything. Oh, so, a, a drone would be fun too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not doing that live. No, no, well, I'm no doing live, this. Not, yeah, no yeah. live drones. So a nice solid five there. Uh, it looks like they'll be so on that meal. They're shooting that meal there just behind that foul there. Oh, we just had a miss there. And in this competition, if you miss, you're out. So oh, right. you, yeah. have to, you have to hit foam. Oh, like I say, at the end of the day here, it's all unknown. So 
this door here again. This door here. Yes. Free all. Free all. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful there. shot. Solid 10. Solid top to 10. We have Jason here on the deer. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful Another shot. 10. Another 10. On the mule deer from Jason. That was a beautiful shot. Bottom of 11, possibly? Uh, just just half an inch lower. Just half an inch 11. Low, yeah. yeah. Top two qualifiers yeah. up there right now. Um, We're going to go to that fellow the there. Gentleman here. Looks like you're at a Bowman Archery mm -hmm. in, in BC, in Vancouver, I believe. I think that's the shirts they wear. Oh, that was a good shot there. Yeah. A little bit low. I think it might be coming yeah. out of the line, yeah. but. Oh, another beautiful shot there. They're all the archers up there taking a look. We had a miss there on target A, unfortunately. That one will be a little quicker. So this year's Alberta ASA tour, I believe that uh, when we go up to Parkland, I think a few of the um, crack shooters there, they shoot the Olympic style bows there, and I think they want to shoot for fun there. Yeah, good. That'd yeah, be yeah. awesome. That would be fun to have them come. Mary. And ASA is one of those uh, 3D that's kind of growing in popular arch Canada has agreement with them to put them on so yeah i know yeah. this one going to be one out east and yeah. i know a lot of these provinces are getting targets with i know archery canada helped out with some asa targets so that's yeah. that's I good think, so yeah, I, I mean it's starting to uh starting to catch on so take off now for sure yeah. for sure i know we had over 500 registrants do the right. tour last year that's all together yeah, so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that was that, that was, was great so Aaron's just uh, fixing up his paperwork there. It's always fun, right? Running a shoot off with eight people, and uh, so now we're going to be. Jason, James, Ray, and Jay. Now we're going to be going down to the final four. So Jason just clarifying the rules there, making sure that he's standing on the, the right thing. And we're going to go to this other camera angle here, and we'll have the fallow deer. Um, Jason looks like he's in a wood riser, but he's got some white limbs on there. He's got the velo limbs. Uh, carbon arrow shooter. He'll have the nice pink and blue knock combo there. He's pulling back. It looks like he's just a little bit left. A little bit left and uh yeah, he's caught the eight line there. The follow deer is one of those tougher targets to shoot because it's got uh, a bunch of different dots. You choose the wrong dot. It, it is touching the line for an eight, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Frigal, he's pulling back here. He's just below the ten. It's close. He's just uh Straight a little, about six o'clock on the 10 there. We got our third archer here. He's just getting ready to pull back. Getting ready. He's pulling back. He's gonna go for the shot. And he's just inside the 10 as well. So he's the closest shot there so far. Um, I'm not fouled here. There's a good look at it. We got three that are just right close there. There's two tens. Uh, the top one's a little bit closer. Uh, the one might be eight ten liner, but uh, we got the last shooter up here. He's he's getting yeah. ready to pull sorry, back. Sorry, folks. I was just looking at some lineups for the for the next groups. These guys are all a little bit different. They oh, all have different same style. I do believe. I think it's going to be a measure. Uh, I think it's going to be a measure. No, Jason Doherty will be 
you think Jason so? Jason Doherty will be eliminated. He's the furthest oh, out there right now. He just pulled it He's just a left. little bit left. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I see. They pulled Jason yeah, Zaro. Yeah, they pulled Jason yeah. Zaro out there. Yeah. Um, I forget this judge's name that's in the photo there, but he has a great sense of humor. I've been, oh, no, no, I've been yes. I've having is. fun with him he's all been, weekend. He's been, he's, been, he's been smiling all weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. been smiling. He's been out there. Yeah, all these judges, they don't yeah. get paid money to do this so they're volunteers as well so thank so you thank you to them because if we couldn't do it without yeah, them without this it wouldn't happen exactly so without we're going to be going happen. down to bottom three james ray rams j ray j james ray j i think i got that right is that his name no, no that's the three people <laughs> <laughs> that's the three people left okay james ray j there we okay. go. That's a mouthful. Hopefully yeah, Aaron doesn't yeah. mess that's that a, up like a, I did. That's a beautiful bow we shoot in there. Yes. What, what, you know. It's all green. Yeah. I think it's white formula if I'm correct. Is it? It's a nice looking bow. Beautiful riser. I'm going to see if we can maybe get one of the targets. No, we can't actually see that target. Um, they're shooting. It's the elk. It's yeah. the elk about 30 yards there. Um, just Five. above the 10. Yeah. Just oh, it's an 8. It's an eight, it's yeah, an eight by about, about half an inch, but left above. and right was perfect. There's a gentleman here again from. Uh, it amazes me, this guy. No sights on. This is right. Jay here from Jay. Bowman's Archery out in Vancouver, mm -hmm. BC. Um, I see he has a Matthews uh, thing on the sweater, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a Matthews. No. But. Oh, that looks oh, nice. He's just inside that's, the that's 10, 10, so he'll be that's closer. He will be closer. That's, that's a 10. Jay will be on the line. Up. Actually, on that shirt, it, because it's Bowman Archery, they are obviously CSC and Matthews and Hoyt Dealers okay. and Bowtech as well, if you see it on your shirt. Yeah. So. Oh, I thought it was, uh, yeah, I no, thought I it was uh, Club. Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. Bowman's is, is a shop yeah. Yeah. out in uh, Vancouver. Okay. Just pulling back, everyone's kind of quiet. Oh, Ooh. we got a solid 10. Solid, solid, solid 10. ten. Solid ten there. Uh, that was some make it easier for Ann. Pretty good shooting there, ladies and gentlemen. Ann's walking down. Yeah. So we're just gonna switch to our camera for a second so you can see us. Dean Dean's hey, still here. Hey, um hey. I'm just going through the just going through the list the, there. The unknown. I managed to squeak in. You did? I'm in. So I, did I. I, I yeah, but I'm I'm unknown. in no one though. But, well, uh, well, that's where we do archery. You yeah. unknown guys, you're just guessing yeah. game. Yeah, but no yeah, one yeah. managed to. Uh, the, the only old guy that made it. The I only mean, old guy. The only old guy I made it. Do you think they just let you in because you're the only no, old guy? No, or? no, yeah, no. No, you shot very well no, all weekend. No, I actually did. I, yeah. I, uh, I, I shot ex excellent this weekend, actually. Yep. Some of the best scores I've shot. So yep. oh, I managed to uh, uh, win M60 and beat all them 50 guys yeah I'm pretty happy with that. good so now we're going to be switching to the turkey target this is going to be the last one um, There we go. So Jay's getting ready to pull back. He's pulling back. We're shooting this turkey as well here. So, oh, I think that's an eight. Just a little tall. Above the ten, it was left to right was perfect. Just a tad high. So there's lots of room for him to squeak underneath there. Yeah. But sometimes when we're in these moments, it's a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shooting so, second uh, times uh, can uh, give you the opportunity yeah, of knowing yeah. what you need to do. But if someone I puts a these guys one, string walking. Yeah, yeah. Maybe so you'll have of, you'll have bare bow string walkers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Traditional, all yeah. in this category. Oh, oh nice solid shot. shot. That was a beautiful shot. Nice solid that shot there. 
that might be an 11 in the turkey. Yeah, it's really close. I think it might just be out at 11 there. No, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. That's the judge will let close. us know whether it's 11, hopefully. Or he might just pull it. No. He just pulled it. It is closest to the center, so it's going to be a lot to so, doing there. So we're going to yeah. be going to the unknown shooters here. So we'll be we'll be back in a second.
think we're back live uh, with me. I have my good motocross buddy, Keith Austin. Keith and I ride dirt bikes when we're not shooting archery, and he's going to step in right now for Jamie, who's uh, having a bathroom break. So right now we have the unknown women step into the line. We're, we're, we're ready to start. So that this class consists of all of our unknown women, juniors through the uh, unknown uh, senior, senior women. women's class. Senior women. See, there are a lot of juniors here. Black I'm looking as a four. Black so we're shooting the black gore here. So A is going to be shooting the black boar target. Oh, I see, yes. And uh, B is going to be on the woodland deer, which might be able to get something on this black boar. Unfortunately, we do not have a camera working for that no, black we'll boar. We'll just have here. to update you on what the shots are. Guys, first archer is up here shooting this boar. And that unfortunately is a miss. Skips off the bottom of it. On our B station, we have a eight just out of the right side of the ten. It's really good height, though. Good judge on it. I know this young lady here with the with the spiky punk hair is out of. British Columbia and my yes. good friend Al Kamsel actually is coaching this young lady. Shooting your uh, brand there too, the she's PSE. She's the PSE RTX. So she's had a great weekend. Mm -hmm. She's uh, she's lining up right now on the well, on, on the on, on the, the black uh, board. On the black board here. Let's see, she's a full draw. She's just a little low, low. low on the five, like the eight yeah. five liner. Well, that, that target's got that yeah. that small cutout yes. for, for the score mark. Yes. There we have, that might be a liner yeah. top 10. Liner top 10 there, yes, for sure. Um, here we have another lady here from BC out of uh, Bournemouth's Archery, uh, along with Alberta's Diane Hunter. Diane will be shooting the white tail deer. Both archers are coming to full draw. That's a tall eight. That's a tall eight there on, on the on the boar. And Diane with a ten. Diane with a ten there. Here we have, uh, I think this is Brooklyn, isn't it? Brooklyn Burge. Burge. Yeah. Uh, out of Edmonton. I know her dad very well. She's a very great archer. And then she shoots an 11. Her Inside out 11. Really, really nice right. shot. Really nice shot. And we have Miss Boyle here from Saskatchewan. Uh, and that's just under the 10 there. Um, Good shooting, though. Reminder: All these archers are judging. Yeah, I think it's Taj Boyle. I think. There we can see our woodland deer group and New Myers jumping in there scoring. We will be right back. We're going to switch out a couple people. You couldn't hear me speaking? Oh, and we're back. And we're back. 
It was just a little bit muffled there. We're going to try to fix up Dean here. Oh, okay. Um, hopefully that's good. I think, I think I'm back. I think I'm rocking and rolling. So that's going to be our final target again, the turkey. Oh, right. Um, okay. A little bit no. I'm a little bit in the know. These ladies made some uh, pretty good shots here. Yeah, so we got double A. Um, we'll probably move. We'll probably move that camera in between so we can get those three yeah. farther ones yeah. afterwards. Shooting the mountain go next. Remember, shooting yes. the mountain go. Okay. Um, not right now. No, not we quite yet. These, these, yeah, for the known men. Unknown uh, men, yes. Yeah. Okay. So target number one here is the mountain goat in the far corner. We got a good round of ages here. Yeah, this. Yes. I said this young lady here um, with a the, with the punk hairdo and uh, shoot a PSC RTX out of BC, our council's um, protege. Nice. He's been coaching her. He's coached quite a few good yeah, archers over some the years. Really good archers out of BC yeah. over the years. I shot with Al today. Such a great guy. Yeah. That RTX is such a solid platform. Well, that's one of my favorite platforms right now in the PSC lineup. That's what I shot all weekend. Oh, beautiful shot. Looks like a solid can. Maybe shoot in the air, maybe, or maybe we'll be going for the... the we're buffalo. going for the stone sheep, actually. The buffalo here, I can't see. Uh, on the buffalo, does anybody see what that young lady shot? We're just going to go to the archers because we buffalo. don't have any cameras on the targets right now. So we'll just keep you on this. So we're going on a buffalo. Do you know this lady's name? Is it Angela? <laughs> yeah. Two of the M50. Yeah, that, we have Angela here out of uh, British Columbia. Mm -hmm. And Diane Hunter out of Alberta. Diane Hunter out of Alberta shooting the buffalo. Stands just right, right Diane hand side of the 11. Shot an 11 on the, on the buffalo. Yeah. Angelo with a 10. Yeah. Now we have Brooklyn Bush out of yeah. uh, Edmonton. Mm. The whole family, awesome archers. Miss Boyle, Adam, her dad was a judge here this weekend and worked yes. all weekend. Spurge, she's shooting at that uh, white goat. The other two girls are a little right. One's high, one's low. Oh, solid 11 there. Solid 11. Solid 11. Beautiful shot. Yes. And, and Boyle, mm -hmm. she just shot a uh, yeah. 3 o'clock 10 there as well. We're just going to yeah, move some cameras and maybe shooting. get some better. Pretty impressive shooting there. So we're going to combine groups and we're going to go down to the final four here. Um, Barry's just seeing if he can get a little bit of the Brooklyn still in. A little bit of uh, different camera angles. So these are going to be our camera yeah. angles. We'll have a, the deer out there. And we'll have the buffalo and the caribou. So you'll be able to see a little bit. Um, again, we are getting better cameras here. Um, it's a slow process getting everything going. So what they're going to be doing here now is Aaron's just working on finding our... These are, these are what's left. Okay, so first we are going to have Angela, or sorry, Diane, Angela, Tasia, Brooklyn. They'll be shooting order, so Diane will be up first. So Diane is first. Diane, 
Brooklyn. Brooklyn's dad, um, police officer out of Edmonton. Who's that, sorry? Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn yeah, 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 yeah. Long time PSC shooter, yeah. one of our teammates. We're gonna be shooting the large He's actually shooting that new um, shoot down, down pro this year. I, I just you, picked I know, up a couple. I know you've got yours. I'm waiting for mine to show up. Hopefully this coming week. I know PSC is also uh, sponsoring our PSA. New, well, no, our, our SA and uh, our, our podcast now that we oh, have perfect. Archer Canada podcast yes. um, as well. Diane, Diane, Diane full jaw. Session bow. Session. Shooting up the caribou there. Long hold there. Just a little bit high. Between the 8 and the 10 there. A little bit high. Yeah. Yep, that was a high 8. And when we get down to the final two, we'll be losing Dean here for a yeah, little so bit. Yes, I'll have to go. And uh, Monica will be coming. Monica Higgins. Is Monica going to step in for She's going to step in for oh, you. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Angela P, I believe. Angela, full draw. So that caribou. Nice long hold. Oh, oh beautiful solid shot. eleven. Solid, that's, solid that's eleven. Solid eleven. Yes, that was a yeah. beautiful Love. shot. Beautiful shot. And uh, Taja Boyle now. Taja Boyle from Saskatchewan. Thanks to her dad this weekend for all the judging. Yep. yep. Uh, like we said again, without the judging, this uh, will be difficult to put on or something. Yeah. Nice. Appreciate shot that. Her. She shoots for APA and. Yeah. X shot archery. Yep. Killing X-Shot sticks. Is a company in medicine that and we're using their lenses. Amazing company. There's That's another, another 11. solid eleven. Solid yeah. eleven. Solid eleven. Miss Berg, yeah. she's. Uh, our number one qualifier. Yeah. Yeah. Looking here is probably the youngest girl out there, I would mm. say. I think, uh, uh, I don't know. I think she's 18. No, I don't think she. Is she 18? Yeah. I think she's, she's going 18. to school to be oh, a dental okay. hygienist, if oh, I dental. do believe. Oh, high five. A little five. tall. Little tall. A little tall there. But high. She definitely got her smarts from her mom. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. And our judge, head judge coordinator from Alberta, she's walking out there. She's now a national judge as well, so. Here we go. And I'll be walking out there. They, they do not know. I don't know what they're doing. Barry's just moving to the next one. So instead of us getting super sick, we'll uh, just go to me and you. Yeah, we'll just be going to us. Yeah. Um, that's probably the best looking two in the I building. Got, I so. got my little uh, yeah. magnifying glass on my hat ready for the unknown Grand Prix. Yeah. So I can see my numbers. So you can see your numbers. <laughs> so I can see my numbers. So. And we got quite a bit of uh, people here today. Um, no, absolutely. Thanks for everyone watching. Um, we got uh, we got 71 people watching, so that's very good. Oh, perfect. Do we have any comments? Ah, that's what I'm just going to look here. We got some, uh, it looks like we got some spam. Oh, lots of spam. Lots of spam, so hey. Oh. Uh, we got Doug McDonough saying thank hey, you Doug, for the... Hey, Doug, how you doing, buddy? Wish you thank you for the live. With us. Yeah. And, uh, and now we have uh, Diane Hunter here stepping yeah. up to the line. Shooting Sorry the, guys for all the comments of all the spam, but there's here. Yeah, we're shooting the big whitetail, I believe. 
We got some join the show. Dan just showed a left eight. Left eight on that um, thirty point buck. Now he's on just straight right. left. Angela out of BC. She's shooting a bow tech there. She's she's in hunter class actually. So yeah, yeah. That's very solid shooting for her this weekend. Oh, and about a, the same left. Low That's to the right for an eight. A little low and to the left. They're really close. The Royal. That was an eight. Yeah. 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 Touch a boil. Touch a boil. Again, touch of it using the X shot archery lenses. Uh, it's a company I just switched to and definitely have them this weekend for sure. Lenses are really clear. And we got the 30 point buck there again. And she's up full draw. Oh, and just, just on the low, low five. Just there. low five there. So the, the two, two, uh, two women there and the older, older class showing the young women how to do this. So, um, and we'll get a picture there of Renee. He's getting smarter in his older age. He's uh, got an electronic whistle, so he's not full of, you it's know, get tired blowing. from blowing on the whistle all day. So yeah. Yeah. that'll that'll thank, be good. Thank gosh for the electronics. Yes, yes. So for our bent unknown, that's going to be next. We are looking for Chase Martin. Bieber, and we'll get Monica coming here. So we're just going to turn off the uh, audio here for a second. We got Monica coming down to uh, help us out here because Dean has to go get ready and yeah, and uh, it'll be good to go. Oh, oh, oh Monica is coming here. She's gonna. Monica. Good luck, Dean. Monica. Shoot Monica's well. Gonna steal my spot. I think well, Monica will have to wait. I think for these ladies. Just wait there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll continue here. Yes, I'll, I'll stay with you until, stay we until the decide. decide. First and, and second here. And Diane's up shooting there. It's coming to full draw. And where I'll be on the turkey here. And she's a full draw. And, and she's, she's a three o'clock or four o'clock ten there. Yeah, five o'clock. Five o'clock ten. Five o'clock ten. I'd say it's a four thirty. A four thirty? A four thirty. Yeah, Maybe four forty five. I'm not yeah. too sure. Angela here. Just adding a little bit of my dry sense of humor. Angela in here. coming to full draw. Full draw again. It's getting quiet in the building. Oh, just, a just outside to the right there. So, your Grand Prix champion will be Diane Hunter, will be your winner. And we're going to take a short break while Dean goes and gets ready, and we'll have Monica Higgins come in and join me.
Welcome back, everyone. Um, just we've added Monica now, so <laughs> thanks for Monica for doing this. Um, she'll be shooting here soon too. Soon too. She'll be in the known known fifty. Yep. Class or the yep. unknown, and we're all ready to go. So we're gonna switch up the cameras and get some of these. As you can tell, this group's not as good looking as the last group. So. Uh, De yeah. Dean filled us in and said he's the oldest archer in this category, so he just wanted to make sure everybody knew, everybody knew that how he old was. he was. <laughs> yeah. Did he say how old he was? Uh, no, he never said it, but... His old is dirt. His old is dirt, his someone just dirt. said. So. And then we have uh, young bears. Young, young. So you got old and young up there. Old and young, yeah. You got George and Corey Spanich in the middle. Yep. Cam Herbert, he just had a birthday yep. yesterday. Brian. Happy birthday. Brian Harper, he shoots out of Lethbridge now. We stole them from BC. BC? Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, he had a brilliant day. He was. Thank you, so. Uh, Brian Dean. was 21 up today. Yeah, very yeah. good day. Yeah. So we got Dean, he's gonna be shooting the hog here. And again, these guys are all shooting unknown. Dean's just a little bit right for an eight. Is there a... Number three is not working. Camera three is not working. So we'll just go to that one camera we will have. Who's first in it? That's always the hardest one. Yeah, for sure. Did you reset both cameras? Did you report and turn on? Huh? Okay, Corey shot. Oh. Corey, let me look. One's and eleven. Who's got the pink fletches? Corey? Who's Corey? Corey is a solid eleven there. Yep. But sometimes you get a stack of arrows inside there and uh I'll show George and Sometimes you just get a stack. They get something easier to aim at, too, Ooh, yes. as well. Mm -hmm. and one Brian's Brian a full draw. George is a low 11, but he's closer. So, so far, George and I think Corey are in on Corey. that target. Well, and Brian's a full let draw. Down we let down maybe? once. Well, I guess I can see that up there. They have a full minute to shoot the arrow. And he's a little bit closer. He's a... Inside out 10. Inside out 10. If you're going <laughs> to commit to 10, you might as well shoot it inside out. Inside out. You bet. Now we got Chase and Cam up. Yeah, Chase Martin, he shoots for Bowtech. And yeah. Cam Herbert, he shoots for PSE. And they're off. Chase, he's from Grand Prairie. And Cam is from Red Deer area. Mm -hmm. That's a stack in there. That is a stack in there. Nice saw 11 by Chase. 11. Good job, guys. Yep. So kind of looks that way to me. That's what I'm saying. Very so whoever close. had the black uh, fletch on uh, the uh, deer target there. Is that um, young bear? Bears? Adam. And judging or looking. Uh, we got a nice pull there. There, we got some seeing. Yeah, we're still down to still one camera there. One camera. Oh. We're just going to move some cameras here. <laughs> Uh, Where are we just getting another yeah. arrow puller? There we go. That's perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> That's perfect there. Thank you for fixing that camera for me. And we lost so the one camera. Lost. So. We lost Corey 
and Alex. Yeah, so we're Jamie, gonna... we lost Corey and Alex. We lost Corey and Alex. Corey and Alex are out here, so we're gonna just uh, Dean and Mr. Berg going up here. Mm -hmm. Dean is the goat. Dean. <laughs> Dean is the goat. Dean would like to think he's the goat, yes. <laughs> Having some fun here. Dean Young is Adam the goat. Berg up there shooting yeah. a Hoyt. He just went to the winter games and he ended yes. up first as well yeah, there. He did well. Very well. Okay. So we're going to be shooting. A little bit further cool. distance here. That the looks goat. Good. So the goat is just straight right, but it's a solid 10. A little then, tall on the buffalo, but solid 10. Solid 10, yeah. About yeah. an inch high, 11, I would say. Mm -hmm. You don't see the buffalo almost. Very Brian much Harper has a bad and she's shooting down. He's so <laughs> He's tall. So tall. <laughs> <laughs> That one's on the buffalo, a little bit on, short, but on the goat, solid 10. Goat, he's just on the left-hand side of 11. I think he might be just out to 11, but it's super close. Super close, yeah. So we got Cam and Martin. Yeah, lots of room in the buffalo yeah, for Cam. Lots of room in the buffalo for Cam. Nice solid 11 for Cam. Yep. This chase is at a long draw there on that goat. Nice solid hold. Oh. 11. Yep. So Dean shot a solid 10. Dean, Dean will be the furthest out on the goat. Okay, I have to go. Somebody needs me, Jamie. No problem. Okay. I'll steal the... Oh, yeah, you want this back? Yeah, yeah. I can't tell. We're waiting for confirmation. It's pretty close on that buffalo there. Waiting for confirmation. You can go this way. Yeah. And I'm doing it myself now, right now. So... Uh, Nathan, you want to come in and uh, do a little bit of talking for us. We're going to add Nathan Fleet to the broadcast here today. Nathan just actually got uh, back from overseas. He's, he's yep. in armed services. Um, he was training some of the Ukrainians. Yeah. yeah. Um, how was that for you? It was busy. It was long busy. Days. <laughs> how long were you over there for? Uh, seven and a half months. Close seven and a half months. Close to eight. Yeah. Welcome to be back at yeah, home. It's good to be home and yeah. shoot. And you got some training coming up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're good to see. We're gonna see what type of courses they got me doing. So. Okay. Well, that's that's good. That's great. Yeah. So we lost George there on the buffalo. So we lost George on the buffalo. I thought he was solid eleven. But... And yeah, we're down to the two cameras, but uh, we're down to the final four as well. And we'll be shooting the number 15, the large caribou. Large caribou. Yeah. Yeah, large caribou. There set up that straddles a few weeks ago, or a few days ago, actually. That full draw, and we'll go to the caribou. High rate eight, I think he was shooting for the 14.
full. We got a straight right 10 as well. Nice. Cam will be up here next. Cam shot really, really well today. Yeah. Brian Harper shot 21 up, I heard as well. Yeah, I think Cam is right behind him yeah. at 19. Oh. Nice solid 11 o'clock. 11. 11. He's close there. Solid 11 for 11. Yeah, he's on the line. And Jake save. And another 11 as well. Yeah, when Chase shoots, he looks Chase so relaxed. Chase is a little tall. Be going down. And when Chase shoots, he looks like he's not even breathing. Not even breathing. <laughs> Aaron, our president, is just explaining on these targets, they'll actually mark the center. And they got a caliper so they can actually measure between the arrows. So if we have a super close call, they can actually make sure that. They they are the color, so we're gonna go back to the one. These these guys sitting here waiting for official official confirmation. Yeah, kick her out. Um, the judge just waiting on the back. judge coming back. Looks like black flashes and orange dark. You're coming back. Looks like we have. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. So Adam out of Jimbo's there is out. Adam out of Jimbo's. He seen his sister shooting earlier as well. That family is they can all shoot so well. I yeah. shoot with them all the time and it's yeah. non typical white tail. These guys are all deciding how far everything is. They got one minute to shoot the target. So unknown, they'll use lots of different techniques to, to figure out how far that target is and, and dial the sight in for that. Tomorrow night, me and Brian will be shooting our last mail match score together. <laughs> hey, back to paper. Back to paper. We're almost done for the year. Almost done. I'm lucky I missed that season. <laughs> so Brian's getting ready. I know Renee's watching the clock there. They got one minute. There. So Renee just gave him a warning for his time. Yep. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Good shot there. Good shot there. It would be an eight, so he, high rate eight, just one o'clock. Okay. So Cam comes to full draw here. Another guy who, when he shoots, doesn't look like he's breathing. Solid. Just, just solid ten there. Just, just above the eleven. Chase, he's shooting a new Gen 2 Bowtech. There's a picture of him there. He's pulled back. He usually holds fairly long as well. Yeah. Waits for everything to settle. And that's a nice solid 11. Yeah, there you go. Yes.
There's Aaron, our president. He's running the mic here for the people in the crowd. I'd say we probably still got 150 people sitting up there, I'd say. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. A little bit about so Aaron. A lot of people stayed. He used to shoot too, and he yeah. was out of Manitoba there, and he ran a lot of there through Manitoba stuff. I'm going to start bugging Aaron that I'm the top shot on the board because I'm the only one shooting right now. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I got him beat for board board shooting this weekend you know i got a picture on facebook somewhere and it's probably about 10 years ago and it's aaron with a mohawk <laughs> and he's presenting me with the provincial championship <laughs> yeah well you both lived in mon or er, in manitoba, manitoba. Yeah. yeah he was a firefighter with the military and i think he's the chief now he is yeah, yeah he's the chief And this will be the next shot we're shooting. The turkey here. Cam's coming to full draw. You can kind of tell there's two little black spots on the right. The one is kind of shot out. It's a little uh, low. A little low of the eight there. Solid eight. Um, and shooting twice or second sometimes in this situation, you got a good arrow to look that at there just just to be able to squeak yeah uh, squeak above it as long as he has the right distance again these guys are shooting unknown yeah for the unknown guys it definitely mm -hmm. it could play games in their head too with the big yardage, the yardage. It, well we could second guess but... yeah. and chase is going to be your winner 10 yeah. 10 or 11. You can see there with Cam's arrow, like one yard makes a big difference. It's, judging is a whole different game. Yeah, judging is a whole different game. So we'll do this and then we'll probably take a short break and we'll move on to the, uh, the known women. Okay. Are we doing no men next? Known women will be next. I have to shoot the known men, so I was a little bit worried there. I don't quite have my quiver on yet. <laughs> I'm going to do up a list here for Aaron. And I'm coming back here. Good job, Chase. Good for them. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back soon.
guys, we're back. We're just going to start the Women's Known Grand Prix. And we got Maddie and Sarah here. Believe. Sarah, I believe, is from Saskatchewan, and Maddie is from Edmonton. Edmonton. She's another Edmonton shooter we have. And they all shoot out of crack at this, our Capital Region Archery Club. Yeah. It's a great club there. Lots of good talent. That paper discipline seems to pay off. They're all super young too. It's, yeah, it's good bring, to see. Bringing up young young talent to show all of us older people up. <laughs> They're almost the same age as me. I'm not old. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> so you can see there that it's all known now. So they ha they know the distance and they'll range it and then they'll shoot at binos and see where they're going to shoot. We were able to get a couple cameras fixed here. Maddie's coming to full draw on our woodland deer, so we'll pan over there. And we'll go to the boar and show you Sarah's deer right after. That's a good shot there by Maddie, a little low. Both shooters look like they're a little low. They may have caught tens. Yeah. Oh, there we can see that really clearly. Yeah, so you can see she's there at the four o'clock mm -hmm. five o'clock next two shooters stepping up to the line here we got Aaron and Pete in there oh you seem to have lost a camera and Aaron there I don't know if you can see it on the camera she's shooting and she's six months pregnant so she's doing really really well she's coming up full draw on this woodland deer Great shot there. Oh, oh inside out. Inside out. For, inside out. Also. Inside out there for Peyton. Really nice. Both shooting. elevens. Very, very good shots. Here for us here in Alberta. Brooke there from Tabor, and then Megan, well, she lives with you. <laughs> does she's up in Sylvan Lake she just started back into archery really last year after about five years off and Brooks really started to show up in the tournament scene in the last year or so it seems to yeah so she's uh she's shooting for PSC now she made a switch this year and it's working out really really well for her as you can see Brooks shot that woodland deer looks like a 10 Megan just below the 11. Really nice shot from both ladies there. We got a team of people here at the table. We're gonna all trying to see the targets. <laughs> and next up, we got Monica and Andrew here. Andrew was on the team. They both are Team Canada members. Yeah, these, these were our women's representatives. Two of them for the 3D national team last year. Yeah. Beans, as Bean says. <laughs> Monica looking Monica's solid on this boar here. Just a little right. I think she's next Can't to that totally 10 line. Tell. Looks like it might be a line We'll wait 10. for the judges call on that one. And Andrea and shoots Andrea, an 11 there. Yeah, with a nice 11. So Monica's iffy with the 8 and 10 line there, so we'll wait for the judges call. We're just going to fix a few cameras during this too as well. There we go, we got this our, our line one camera of the working again. <laughs> Having some technical difficulties. We're gonna have to switch to some yeah. wireless wireless technology. We'll figure here. it out by the ASA. <laughs> this is a uh, first one of the year for the recording stuff. See our judges there pulling some arrows now that they've scored them. You see Barry there walking with the camera. Oh, we lost another camera here. <laughs> one moment, please. fixing cameras here kind of in the dark there oh, we got oh that one's still working and that one's working that one is not so working oh yeah, there, there we, we go. go thanks we matt appreciate matt, that who knows how to use a camera there <laughs> judge ann just walked by oh, yeah. there okay. very thankful for the work that people do 
Okay. Yeah. We're good. I'll just let Aaron talk here now. So we got Maddie was eliminated. Okay, there we go. So I'm just getting told Monica was eliminated as well. Let's, uh... Sarah and Aaron. Yeah, so they're shooting the buffalo and the white, the white goat, I believe, or the caribou. Goat. Yeah, so the goat and the buffalo. The white goat and the buffalo. Both long shots on this uh, range here. So we can talk Sarah's coming yardages to... now, because all the unknown guys are gone. Oh, yeah. um, from our shooting line, the back ball is 50. Sarah looks like she Sarah made a really good shot. That shot. Can't see as close Aaron's with this buck full ball, draw. So these are about 45 and 47 yards. And shots. Aaron shot so a 10 there. Ladies are currently shooting. Shot a 10, Aaron yeah. with a 10. Aaron with a 10. Orders changed up a bit here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going through the list here. Yeah, so we have Peyton and we have Brooke. Peyton shooting this new elite. Oh, we lost our camera again. Sorry, guys. Oh, we're back. Peyton's at full draw on the goat. Brooks at full draw on the buffalo. That Peyton made a really good shot there. Buffalo looks pretty good as well. Yeah, Peyton with the 11. Yeah. And I'm not sure. Do you know Peyton? I am. I'm not sure where she's from. About her, but it's cool to see her it's up good here to see her. Top. I don't know. She might With be from BC the... as well. And Brooke also shot an 11. So you can see these two. They look so calm. <laughs> Stone cold. Yeah. Focus. Andrew is at full draw on the buffalo. See what she and wait for a call on Andrea. And now Megan's a full draw on the goat. Okay. And, and so we have two tens there. So Megan and Andrea both shot tens on those ones. So Monica Judges are just heading down to score these targets. I think Jamie mentioned it earlier. We have to thank the judges. It's long days for them. They, they start at the first line and they're there sitting and judging all day long until we're done. So just, we appreciate those guys. Got a couple guys helping us with some tech again. We're going to move some cameras around here because we're done on those targets I believe there we go Matt was able to fix that line camera it's looking good we lost, oh, it again. lost it again <laughs> not sure what's happening there but such is life it takes we'll, a village to get this stuff done <laughs> yeah we'll get it going Megan was eliminated from the A side. And Aaron from the B side there. Aaron from the B. And it's a great shoot from Aaron there, being pregnant. And if it takes a lot out of you, you'll be up here mentally all day and it makes you tired and on your feet. Okay, so we're down to one archer at a time now. Yes. So they're shooting. 
I don't know if you heard Aaron there, they'll shoot the caribou. We have it in frame here. Hopefully we can see some shots on it, tell where they land. That's at roughly 40. It's around there. I'm not sure of the distance, but... Yeah. I'm going to say 37 and a half. Yeah. But you know in shooters, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't guessed since like 20, 2014, 2015, so... I like my rangefinder now. Yeah, me too. Last year I shot unknown and that didn't pan out very <laughs> well for me, so we're trying the known game again now. All right, she's at full draw here. Sarah Saint Amant. A little bit high tall, there. Tall eight, it looks <laughs> like. Okay. Now so we have... just started the clock for Peyton. She's from Peyton from BC. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. BC. This is a new name, which is great to see. Yeah. So, COVID it definitely uh, took a hit on Earth Day Canada and our national events were smaller, but now we have 260? 260 off. 260 archers this weekend, yeah, which is great. awesome. That's, an, that's a fantastic turnout for one of these events for sure. I think we're back and ready to go. I hope outdoors is just as big. Hope so. There's lots of fun, exciting things happening out there. It'd be good to draw in some big crowds. Peyton's at full draw now. It looks like a right side yeah. three o'clock ten. So you can see it's a lot to do in one minute for these archers. There are never any over there counting down. And most of these archers is taking 40, 50 seconds to, to get that arrow down there. And it doesn't leave them much time if they have to let down. Yeah, they have to step up, range the target, adjust their sight, turn on their sight light or yeah. whatever, and, <laughs> it's a and view their shooting area, and yeah. then it's definitely prepare a task. for their shot. I know I let down quite a bit, so I would be up there <laughs> running at a time. Brooks at full draw. Oh, nice oh, 11, she, it looks like. She the, got it. We'll wait for the judges on an official call on that one, but it looks like a left side 11. So you can see there that the archers can get down right to a half a yard or point one of a yard. So they'll, some of them will use their binos or their rangefinder and get it down in between the little lines on their sight. And even me, I, I can't see <laughs> in between the lines. <laughs> That looks like a Andrew nice. Shot an 11 there. Yeah, looks like a nice 11 too. So we'll. Uh, Ann's gonna go down and uh, make those calls for us, and we'll see what the official scoring is. Sarah, yeah. Sarah, from here, we can tell we'll be. Able. It's unofficial. I think we probably. Just do some math here real quick. Figure out who we have left.
us. We're back here now. Uh, Peyton and Andrea are what's left, and Brooke. Yep, Peyton, Andrea, and Brooke are our final three. They're going to shoot number four, the white tail. As you can tell by the camera being so far away, we're quite a long shot. We really have to be focused and put together a good shot at these farther distances. That it's looks up, like a up by the fourteen right. area on an a, on a delta target. <laughs> yeah, it's a high right peak. You can see as we get down to the final few, the pace is getting a little bit more serious, and the nerves start to show a little more. Not as many smiles. <laughs> yeah, no, not as many smiles, but we all come to compete and, and enjoy it together. But we, that's do, actually, we do play to win. That's actually a new bow for Brooke this year, too. She was shooting the Matthews last year, and she shot it really well. She was, now she's shooting the Bowtech Gen 2 Reckoning. A little bit high there. Yeah, so yeah she's, a, she's shooting that Reckoning really well. She is shooting that Reckoning. We have Andrea shooting, I believe, a TRX 36. Yep. I think that was her bow last year. I, re I remember the strings. I believe so. But you shoot what you're comfortable with. Yeah, if you can. no, 100%. And that's... So it's uh, Andrea here has lots of room to, to come away with this on this shot. Another she, put, she put it right next to it, so you can see. Eight. So you can see they're all a little bit high. So when archers get a little bit tense, they tend to miss high. So yes. you can see it gets real quiet in here, and then they're they're trying to put a little more effort into the shot, likely, and and really make sure they're not breaking down. And sometimes that can push you out the top. I'm gonna just check some of your guys' comments here. Barry runs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a close one down there. They're measuring. Oh, there we go. Oh, and we're still getting spam comments. Spam, so that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> it's in French, and I'm not familiar with French. <laughs> I am not either. Judges are over there doing a great job yeah. for us. Do you know this judge's name? I'm, I'm not too familiar with him. He's, I mean, he's a new judge. I know Rennie was, I think, cert, I think he was doing a certification this weekend. Okay. For a national judge. Cool. It's always appreciated to have the people that come out and are willing to uh, spend their time and effort rather than uh, ours. We lost Peyton there. It's good to see her. And now we're down to Brooke and Andrea. We're back now. They're going to be shooting this turkey for the final arrow. see Cody, uh, Brooke's boyfriend there in the back. <laughs> he's, he's getting stressed out just watching her. He is. Breathing heavy, <laughs> bouncing on his toes a little bit. But you, you want the people that you shoot with and, and cheer for to do well, so... Yep, 
Sorry, we changed it there. She's Looks on like the, a solid. I think 10. she's tucked in that 11 line there. We'll wait for the official call on that, but it does look yeah. like an yeah, 11. So it's a 10 11 yeah. line. Aligner. We'll wait for the judge's call on that one. It is a, uh, that yeah. turkey's rings are so small. I think the the 11 on that is smaller than a penny. Not that we have pennies anymore, but. <laughs> Once upon a time, yeah. <laughs> back in our day. <laughs> Andrew's a little draw. Oh, that's another one. Really that's close, close arrow, as well. I think it's just out to the left there if I look at our camera. Unofficially, it looks like Brooke may have taken it though. We'll wait for the judge's call on that. I can see Cody smiling, and yeah, I think so. I think Brooke. Andrew's just a little really left. Really good shots on that target, but we'll wait for the judge's official call. You can see Ann down there. So you can see Ann's point to oh. So the first one she pulls was Andrew's, so that would mean Brooke wins. Yeah. So congratulations to Brooke congratulations on her Brooke. Grand Prix win. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There's your your official call is uh, Rook LaRue is your Grand Prix champion for your known women. Next up, we have our known 50 men. Yeah. Was... Oh, and we're back. <laughs> so we're starting here now for okay, the known yep. 50 here, men. Here we are with the known 50 men. And Dean's back now. Made a bit of change of mics again. <laughs> On the line right now, we have Lonnie Gray from Saskatchewan and Jamie Brijo from Lethbridge, Alberta. Looks like our judges are ready. We've got our two on Lonnie is one of those guys who uh, is always wearing shorts. <laughs> it's the middle of winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jamie here. Oh, my, no. Uh, <laughs> my fellow pro staff PSE shooter. Uh, he's, had a, he's had a good year shooting. 
you have aero pillows? I know I don't have one. I don't have one. Maybe one of the guys has, has the maybe. Jamie's at full draw here. Jamie at full draw on the white tail is a little let down there. So 40 seconds you can use. 20 seconds left, lots of time. Low Lonnie was a little low. Yeah, low eight for Lonnie. And, and Jamie was a low right. Right, right eight for Jamie. A low right there. Up next here we have Tim Huey. Yeah, Tim and Jordan uh, Adachi. Jordan Adachi out of BC. Jordan is an amazing target shooter. Yeah, I shot with Jordan yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Him and Cam, who we'll see next. Yeah, yeah. When they yeah. shoot, it's... <laughs> J J Jordan, when there's... Uh, a dot on a target, he yeah. never misses. No, and same thing with Cam. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan here is shooting the uh, PSE Dominator yeah. Duo. Another one of our teammates out of BC. Tim Huey also shooting the PSE. Oh, Jordan absolutely inside out, 11. So here's... Next we got Cam and Cody, and this is a fun fact. This is Cam's first ever 3D shoot. Low, low, low I, I uh, shot with him Saturday, and I was trying to teach him how to do it because he, he's never shot a 3D event. Again, Cam, yeah. another. <laughs> he's another archer in the capital archer region. Shooting paper, amazing paper shooter. Yeah, absolutely amazing paper shooter. Worst shot you made all week. That's worth so we have Chris Dunn week. and Clinton here. They're both out of Saskatchewan and they're yeah. good buddies. Good friends, traveling yeah. buddies. And I gotta say congratulations to Chris Dunn for winning overall. Yeah. As I've known Chris for such a long time since I've been in archery. And uh he's slowly come along and gotten really good at this. Yeah, and I so Clinton at full draw on the deer, solid eleven. Eleven, and, uh, eleven, ten. So good thing to know is uh, every archer here on this yeah. out of these eight, they're all shooting PSC and Bowtech. Yes. And then I think we have that, Lonnie, who's uh, Lo the lone Matthews. Lonnie's the lone Matthews <laughs> shooter here. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of Bowtech and PSC up here. Um, I believe Jamie, Jamie is out. Yeah, so I think we're losing Jamie here, and uh, we're just waiting for the other side there the for the official call from the judge because we're not too sure. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Jamie there having a good joke here with Aaron Bull, the president of Archery Canada. Jamie probably made the worst shot he's made all weekend. Yeah, Jamie is yeah. He's having a really yeah. good year. And here. Lonnie Gray was eliminated from the uh, A side. So I know at our indoor 3D provincials, yeah. Alberta, Jamie, I was in England and Jamie messaged me. He said, You aren't going to catch me. And he said he shot 24 up in the indoor provincials. God. So yeah. 27 targets. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's, uh, he's shooting well. Two PSE shooters to the line, Tim Huey. Well, actually, he just went and bought himself a bow tech. <laughs> Those Hinton guys are so, all switching. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of the guys up north in Hinton there uh, switching, uh, supporting Chris Drews yeah, out of yeah, uh, high, caliber sports. high caliber sports there. And Chris, one of the funniest people you'll ever meet. Yes, yeah, great guy. He used to be a great bull rider. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he still looks like he could do it too. Oh, he could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jordan Adachi, like I say, out of BC. Jordan's a, another amazing archer that's taken to 3D uh, since the known category has come in. Tim Hui like there. Good shot there. Look like two good shots. With, pro, with, with, yeah, 10 and a 10, I believe. 
I couldn't see the first one. Oh, lost another camera. Yeah, two teddies there. And you have Cameron Polly. Cameron Palachuk. Buffalo. Out of Edmonton. Yeah. Actually, he shot a Botech for a long time. Just picked he up did. the PSE and I, he was in Vegas and he shot amazing in Vegas. Yeah. So Cameron on the Buffalo is a solid 10. 10. Cameron. 11 10 line there. Cam there he made me laugh this weekend. So he, he came, he's like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, we'll help you. He's been contacting me a lot, calling me, asking me. And uh, what do he, I do? he showed me his sight tape, and <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing a good job. He got 2.5 yeah, yeah. yards. Never seen never. Yeah, he's Cameron using two Cameron, Cameron's telling me, Lara, I know, I think I'm out. <laughs> Anything could happen. I know that uh, Clinton Lee's here. I've shot with Clinton many times. Clinton on the Buffalo. There's a 10. Yeah, There's a high 10. Chris is 11. Chris is yeah. just shooting solid this weekend. You know, I'm so happy for Chris. Yeah, I and I know, like I say, him and Clinton, they, 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 they came together. Yeah. They're good friends. And, uh, I, uh, I went to Saskatchewan Provincials last year and shot with him, and it was probably one of the most fun times I've had. Yeah. He's yeah. a great guy. He's a great guy. So now we're going to have an we're, we're definitely going to have an arrow call between Tam Palachuk and... Clinton on this buffalo because that was close. Oh, there you go. Sydney, Nova Scotia. Sydney, next Nova year. Scotia. A closer to my home. I, honestly, <laughs> I, I really enjoy going out east. I like yeah. the people. Yeah. I like seeing the old buildings. It yeah. reminds me of back home in, yeah. in, in the UK. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I enjoy so, going back there. I really do enjoy it. I had some good times out east shooting in the Canadian Championships. Lots of rain. Every time I know people well, shooting in New Brunswick yeah, and Nova Scotia, yeah, it's always raining. I've shot in the rain there too, but I've also <laughs> shot in 34 degrees as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, which I didn't know there were four degrees. Okay. Cameron. Cam. So we have left. Yeah. So. Okay, so. so we're back here. We're down we to the one archer at a time now. Jordan and Dachi, we must apologize. Our cameras here on the targets have kind of messed up a little bit. But we'll uh, we'll follow the archers and we'll let you know what they've scored. So it's a battle of uh, BC, Saskatchewan, and Alberta here. And uh, what, what are we shooting? Target number four? Yeah. Here, number we'll four, let you know what the score is. Jordan is an 11. Yeah, an 11 there. Great shot. He's an 11. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Hoogie here out of Hinton, another top Canadian shooter. Yeah. Shoots for pennant and high caliber. Yes. Yeah. Pennant strings are at a BC, I believe, is it? Uh, I'm not sure. I believe so. I know that he's been with him for quite a while. I'm just gonna take pictures of him. Here we have Tim. <laughs> oh, beautiful 11. Yeah, 11. there you go. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> Tim, Tim beautiful 11 in there. He's yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Clint there. Clinton there looking at now his sight through his glasses. This is our ASA he, champion. ASA known day. champion. Yeah, uh, I shot with him. I shot with him at one tournament, and it was incredible. Yeah. It was a clinic. Actually, yeah. I shot with him at the Ironman, and he put on a clinic. Yeah. <laughs> he shot so good. I'd never seen so many 11s being <laughs> shot. It was it was awesome. And he shoots for Botech. That's a 10. 10 left. And now we got Ten. Don up again. Done. Chris Dunn here. Uh, another one of the archers here shooting the new X shot lenses yeah. out of Medicine Hat. Uh, a few of us switched. Um, and I know that Chris is the Canadian champion, won the Canadian championship. Um, I won the M60, both using the X shot yeah, lenses I, this weekend. I Amazing turned one lens. out and I, I couldn't believe how clear. The clarity is so good. Yeah. So good. It's a local company, which is awesome to see. It's a little bit Ten high there. Line top. Ten liner there. It'll be a call. It'll be okay. a call between Chris and Clinton. So now we have Jordan Adachi up. We're shooting the caribou. The caribou, um, I'd say, is it was like 38 yeah. yards. Yeah, we we never got the distance. We, we didn't get the chance. distance, but I I shot that unknown at 38. So yeah. Dean's pretty good at judging. Yeah, He's yeah. Been doing it a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eleven. 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 Beautiful shot there by Jordan. Beautiful eleven on that caribou. Jordan usually travels with Kevin Evans. Yeah. Out of BC, Kevin Evans is one of Canada's top para athletes. Kevin lost his arm in a uh, on oil rig incident, mm -hmm. and uh, boy, that guy could shoot. Yeah, I think uh, I shot with him yeah, in Carberry as a kid. Was, Kevin was amazing shooter. Here we have Tim Huey with a full draw here. Ten. Just like the mention, Tim ten. switched this year to a hinge. He's been yeah. shooting a button. Oh, and that's right. This year yes. he switched to a hinge, yeah. so I, I, get, I talk yeah. to him every day. And he, yeah. he updates me on his progress, and he's doing really well with that yes. thing. He's shooting the executive. Yes, he's Perkins, actually shooting yeah, it really he's well. Shooting he's shooting really Chris well, Perkins' yeah. executive. Release. This this weekend down in, uh, I think it was Kentucky there, yeah. Chris was shooting, but sadly dropped one, which, yeah. you know, in that caliber, 
Judas puts them out. Here we have Clinton, Lee Sierra, full draw. On the caribou, 38 yard caribou. Got 11. Nailed it. Um, so, so unofficially, unofficially, Tim Huey uh, will be eliminated. Yeah. And it'll come down to Jordan Adachi and Clinton Lease. Might have lost Tim. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Tim gives us a nod. <laughs> Tim giving us the nod yeah, there. Yes, I'm out. <laughs> but uh, pretty, pretty decent getting in the top three against this caliber of shooters in Canada. So. <laughs> You know, the crowd's actually growing there. People yes. standing behind the archers. Yeah, yeah, everybody's enjoying it. I know that right as soon as this is done here, we'll be right on to the medal presentations. Thank you to Calgary Archery Club for this weekend. Yeah, I know all the members, uh, uh, you know, that dedicated all their time. We started on a, on a Thursday. Uh, worked all day Thursday, all day Friday to get it set up. And I think there's 200 3D targets on the floor over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we got to put them back in the trailers. They all got to back in the trailers. Yeah, we got to clean up, take all the wood down. Do we have Do we have the camera for the turkey? No, so, sorry folks, but the, the turkey camera is gone. Kaput. Everything's good here. Uh, me personally, I think this is an advantage to go first on this turkey. It is. The um, ring is so small. Yeah, the, the ring is so small. That and you can see Jordan's shooting the same arrow as I am, the X cutters. Oh, he's and shooting gold tip X cutters? They're 25 series arrows. Yeah, that's a... They'll take up that whole Oh, ladder. yeah, if he can get in there. This, this boy doesn't miss much, I know that. It's, the, it's an advantage going first on this target. Jordan's here at full draw. That yeah, is. 10 11 liner. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Clint's, yeah, Clinton's been here a lot, so he's. Yeah. Today, today he mistakenly took uh, a joint in the ar in a target and thought it was an arrow shadow oh. and shot a five. It Ooh, stacked it right on just top. underneath. Jordan Nadachi. Jordan Nadachi. Uh, just below Jordan. Jordan won. Yeah. 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 So, so you can see a big congratulations smile there. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, congratulations there to our PSE teammate, Jordan yep. Dachi, on winning the known Grand Prix here at the Canadian Nationals. Round, Jordan. He's waiting on the official call from the judge, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations to Jordan. Yeah, wanna cheers. I wanna thank everybody for joining us here on the live feed. We're yeah. all done now and it's gonna pack up and uh, get the presentations done. Yes. Hopefully we get to do this again at the at the outdoor in BC this coming summer. So we'll see you then. Cheers everyone. See you guys.